What's up everyone? I'm Danny with Lanier Lawn Care. Today we're going to be talking about these mowers. For the past couple of months I've had the opportunity of using and demoing these mowers, putting them through some paces. Now uh, one thing I will say right from the beginning is both of these mowers are residential mowers. The Titan, uh, we did a review on this mower and I'll put that link right up here in case you want to go check that out. So uh, before we jump into this video, let me give a huge shout out to Toro real quick for sending me these mowers to do a review on to get my honest opinion and feedback. Um, however guys, I have not received any compensation whatsoever. I do not get to keep these mowers. These mowers are going back actually uh, next week. So this is the first week of January. Um, the second week of January, these mowers will be returning back to Toro. I, once again, have not received any compensation whatsoever. The only thing Toro did was reach out to me and ask me if I would be interested in reviewing these products and giving them my honest opinion and feedback. So today we're going to be talking about the time cutter and uh, some of the features of it. I will say I really did enjoy this mower. Um, this is a residential mower. I used it as it was meant to be used. I used it on my personal lawn, which is about 0.33 uh, acres. So a um, little under a half an acre. Not huge, not small, but this thing was perfect for it. So we're gonna jump right into this video here and uh, tell you more about this, go over some features of it and see what you think. All right, so we're gonna start with the front of this mower, work our way around. Starting with the frame of this mower, this time cutter comes with a 10 gauge steel frame. Uh, most other competitors come with an 11 gauge steel. So Toro knocked it out of the park, gave you a thicker, heavier duty steel right from the beginning. Moving on, we got the cast aluminum caster wheels. These things are not only, let's say, uh, let's say you was to hit something. Okay, you damage this somehow, some way. Not only is this a quick, easy fix with just two bolts holding this through, but uh, it's very cost effective as well. So, you know, hey, things happen, very easy to replace. So we're gonna move on back to the deck. Now there is nothing stating that this is not a step on this uh, 54 inch mower. You can step on this and I'm gonna show you. Uh, most mowers when you step on them, <clears throat> the deck wants to move like crazy. We're gonna step on this and show you that, you know, you go to step on this to get on the mower, it's gonna hold you up. Plus, it's not gonna move that much. So if you see, it barely moved any at all. So you can get on. The mower, when you go to get back off, simple as that. Another way to get on this mower is through the front cutout. We also have a, a leading reinforced deck around the outside edge here. So you've got a 10 gauge steel deck and then you've also got a piece of 10 gauge steel uh, coming around all the way around the edge of the deck. In case you do hit something, this gives you that reinforcement that you're gonna to need to keep your investment taken care of. Now we're gonna move on back and you've got toolless belt covers. You can remove these, wipe away your debris, whatever you'd like to do. We also got six inch cast aluminum non-greasable spindles for easy maintenance. And moving on back from that, we have two deck wash systems, one on each side of the mower. Now we have the easy view fuel tank so you can view through this nice clear plastic and see how much fuel you have and then right above that connecting to it is your cup holder and cubby hole for your keys drink or whatever else you would like to stuff in there as we move on to the back of the mower here we have the hydro system which is going to be the hydro gear zt2200 maintenance free so these are non-serviceable hydros now moving up from the bottom of the mower we have our uh, place here to put whether you want to pull a pull behind aerator pull behind trailer something like that you have a hookup for that as well 
Now that we're at the engine, we're gonna stay here for a second, talk about this, tell you a little bit about the warranty. So you can get this mower once again with a Kawasaki engine that comes with a three year unlimited residential warranty. Step on up to the 24 and a half horsepower commercial Toro motor. Not only will you still get the three year unlimited hour warranty, but you also will receive a three year, 300 hour commercial warranty. That's right guys, they're gonna give you a commercial warranty on a residential mower. So if you did wanna start out a mowing company and have the peace of mind of a commercial warranty, well, there you go. You can step into this time cutter with my ride and get the 24 and a half horsepower V-twin and get that three year, 300 hour commercial warranty that's gonna give you that peace of mind. Now as we move on back to the air filter here, this air filter is very easy as you just pull it out and then install the new one. You just slide it in and push it in, close the flap, and you're ready to go. Now we're going to show you how easily accessible this oil filter and oil change is going to be. Here's your oil filter right here. Very easily accessible. Fit my arm right in there. Then you have your oil tube. You just pull this out and then twist it and this hose will come right out and then you can drain your oil and then of course to put it back up you just slide it back up into the slot and put the hose back in just like that and you're ready to go now we're going to move on to the my ride suspension system on this bad boy and it's as easy as one two three guys if you're a lighter person maybe you want a softer ride you would put it more toward the negative if you're a bigger person you would put it more toward the positive and that way you get the comfort ride that you would like front and back now we've got the seat the stitching on this seat is very nice uh, this seat is very comfortable I have to say that as well and it looks fabulous so uh, you also have armrest on each side of the mower these do lift up and move down so if you don't want to use them you don't have to also has a easily adjustable seat to move forward and backward and then if you lift this seat up now we have the battery access and uh, not only is this very easy accessible but they have also given a bigger battery than previous models as well and then to close it just right back down moving on to the deck you have an easy foot assist so uh, you can put your foot on this to raise it and then move it up to wherever you want for easy adjustments the mowing height on this is one and a half inches all the way up to four and a half inches so pretty much anything you want now another great feature about this mower is it comes with three speeds so if you're in the learning stage or if you just wanted to move slower you could put this in the very top notch which is your turtle give you four miles per hour of speed then if you wanted to move a trailer or you've got you know one of them little trailers to move some mulch or something around wanted to pull something with this thing then you've got your middle setting which is going to give you uh, five and a half miles per hour and then if you want to step on up to the best the fastest then you move it all the way down to the rabbit speed that's going to give you seven miles per hour now, I wasn't able to get any mowing footage with this as my season pretty much came to a halt very quickly here in Missouri. Uh, the grass went dormant very quick, but I did get to use this mower for about five weeks mowing my personal lawn. So I would say I got to use this mower around eight times total uh, mowing my lawn along with using it to mulch leaves and stuff like that up in my lawn. So uh, I do have some pictures uh, that I'm going to roll now and show you that you know this mower is a very good quality mower I really did enjoy having this mower this mower really amazed me in every way possible my grass was pretty tall in uh, one of these pictures and so you know for this mower to go over that one time and leave the grass disbursement beautiful and striped the way it did 
totally wowed me. So I really was impressed with this mower, especially in the price range that it was at. Other than that, uh, the only thing that I really have about this is there's no hour meter. Um, for me, personally, I like knowing even if, if I didn't do lawn care and I just did this as a residential unit for my personal lawn, I would really like to have that hour meter on there to show me how many hours I've got so I know when to change my oil and do my maintenance and stuff uh, like that. But the good news is, is Toro did think about that whenever they made this mower and there is a spot right here if you feel right by this little rabbit um, then there is a spot for an hour meter to go so hooking up an hour meter is not very hard and they're real cheap to buy off of amazon or ebay so adding one to this mower is really not a downfall for anyone or it would not stop me from buying this unit per se so I hope y'all enjoyed this video guys. This mower right here is going to start out at $38.99 and that would be for this My Ride system. Now depending on the features that you choose on this mower, it could cost you anywhere from $23.99 all the way up to $39.99. Another thing I would like to say is you can add Kawasaki uh, engines to these mowers for of course an upgraded price. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, once again, feel free to comment down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.